here we are at 90 so 90 something <laughs> anyway we're in black park free car garage i can tell you the address when i get back in the house because i forgot it um beautiful landscaping cul-de-sac location Definitely an all brick front. We'll have to walk around the back to see if it's sided. I do believe it's sided on the back and the sides based on seeing this. Nice wide front porch, double door entry. Walk in. Clear shot of the lake as soon as you walk in. So you have tile in the entry. Over here is behind the door. That's just where a clock is put. I would imagine this is a coat room. Yes, coat room. Oh, liquor cabinet. <laughs> and lovely built-ins. Very nicely done. I'd have to say the crown and the dental molding up top is absolutely lovely. Matches the mantle on the fireplace. Does have a granite... Could be a marble grant marble um, fireplace or around the fireplace, and definitely granite over the counter to the cabinets there. Um, I believe this is an engineered wood. It feels like it, but I don't have heels on today, so I can't truly tell. It looks excellent though. Okay, so we have the tile here, and then they have a little tumble tile in the, between the doorway. There's some marble there. Vaulted ceiling in the guest room with the ceiling fixture. It does have popcorn ceilings. Um, carpet's in decent shape. Uh, this could be replaced. It looks a little worn, but in excellent condition. This is the guest bath. Cultured marble. Vanity, a nice wide vanity. Tub shower insert. And there's actually a ceiling fan in here too, which is something I really love, but not everybody does. Okay, and um, the carpet in here is actually a little better than the other room. Nice room, too. Not a bad size. Closet's over here by fold doors. Okay. And we'll go into here. Okay, it does have an office. So the office, this is really similar to the house we looked at in Prince Creek. Uh, the one that had the nautical theme office. So it's definitely the same exact layout. I would have to say that this one is in much better condition. This is the laundry. Okay, they have full-size stackables. Um, does have a countertop here. No mud sink, but a little bit of storage. The garage. Let's take a peek out there. Wow. They got their bike in the garage, that's always a plus. It is not only three cars wide, but it's exceptionally deep. Um, it has the mud sink out here. This might be the house, I think, for you guys. I'm gonna go to the corner. So, this is one side of the garage. That's a mirror you're seeing the Corvette covered up in. It would be an excellent mirror in the bedroom. Okay, there's cabinets all over there on the wall and countertop. Cabinets and countertop there. They have a big full dresser on the other side of the Corvette, and there's still room to get another car in here, and it could be a truck. It's deep enough. Um, I would say a standard garage is about this deep. So behind me, I have that much more space. Here's my boots. So I would say that's another 10 feet. But um, this is a big garage and it still has the pull down, which is nice. You can put hanging racks in here as well and really maximize your space. Okay, let's go back in the house. I think the garage is a home run for what you're looking for. Okay, so here is where the fireplace is on the side where we came in. Like I said, it has the popcorn. It's actually in very good condition. I don't see any spots so far. All right, it has the built-in areas. Chair molding in the office. The hardwood continues in. Chair rail around the dining room. And you can see that's tiled. And it does have granite, which is really nice. So you have the granite here. 
You have the granite in the inlays for the artwork. Now it does have a tile backsplash and they have done it on here, which I've never really seen before. But I mean, that is a good idea if you're carrying food in and out of the kitchen to the dining room. It does have granite in here with the matching tile backsplash. Uh, I would probably, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. I was gonna say I would clean that, but it's not supposed to be that way. Um, okay, tile in here, granite countertops, looks great. An island with power and plenty of cabinets in here. So instead of having a traditional pantry, it has those, which is really nice. And they have really gone out of their way to decorate. A lot of high hats. Okay, you have a ceiling fan in here as well and two pendulums, one over the table, one over the island. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put any pendulums over the breakfast bar, but that's okay. You have a, uh, feels like a cast iron porcelain sink with uh, oil rub bronze um, spigots. The tile not only continues from the kitchen and breakfast area, but into the Carolina room. It has two skylights, a ceiling fan, lots of windows uh, with the transoms on top with an incredible view of the lake and the gazebo. That is the road coming into the community, but it is on the other side. I cannot hear it from inside with nothing on. I can hear the grandfather clock and I can't even hear the fountain. So that's a good thing. Nice large patio. Let's go out there and take a peek. Okay, now I can hear lawnmowers. Okay, so this is definitely an addition, this part of the patio, because it's much lighter than that side. But that's fine. You could always epoxy it or paint it and make it all match up. It does have the vinyl siding. Let's see if it's got a good feels like it has good insulation behind it. I can't see it, but it feels like it is. It's pretty solid. Okay, they have done a sidewalk, which is premium and upgrade. And that's the exit off of the breakfast area in the kitchen. And this is the Carolina room. So they have a nice sitting area out here. They do have their grill up here. Let's see if there's a uh, gas line. No, so they must have a tank. So they have created a natural bulkhead here with some patio block and the pitch of the hill. So they did a good job, I'd say. So if the lake comes up during the floods or a hurricane or rain, you're in good shape here because I've never seen it come up this high in this community. Okay, so they have a little walkway they've done over here out to the lake. Some nice big planters. Look at this patio, it's amazing goes all the way around and that's the bump out on the garage the third bay back there so they have a bird cage there I don't think that bird is real but we'll go check it out and look how gorgeous this is this is a really nice house I think this might be the one gutters uh, another grill over here rain barrel storage sitting area more storage uh, really nicely done landscaping. Yeah, that's a cool bird cage with a uh, pig parrot in it. Love it. I'm sure they're not leaving that, but that looks really cool out here. Okay, so it goes all the way around. So, and it does have an outdoor shower. Look at that. Entrance, that's the man door to the garage. And we have the outdoor shower. Pretty cool. And back to the front. It's really a lovely home. This is your street. So the neighbor's yard's very well maintained. Um, they're actually doing some work over there. It looks like they might be putting tile in. And this is a cul-de-sac, as I said. So I'm standing on the front lawn area, front of the driveway, facing the road in. That's North Blackmore. Beyond that would be Highway 707. It's very quiet. I don't hear anything but wind chimes and um, I hear some like distant highway traffic not like horns just that whoosh sound that kind of sounds like the ocean so we'll go back around I like that they did the river rock here and they did mix it up with the mulch which looks really nice but this home is excellent I think this is probably one of the 
nicest ones we've seen. It does have a really wide lake view. Look at this, all the way around. And that, that drainage pipe, there's another drainage pipe there. They go to other lakes in the community that dump into the waterway. So this could be it. It's a really pretty home. A lot of amenities and upgrades that you do not need to do. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call. Surround sound outside, nice. Um, Christine House, Century 21 Broadhurst, 609-339-0916. Another view of the side yard. They do have a propane right there. It's nice. Grass looks fabulous. Nice cool day today here. Merle's in lot. Again, Christine House, Century 21 Broadhurst, 609-339-0916. 0916. If you have any questions or you want to email me, it's christine at century21broadhurst.com and visit my website at christinehouse.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.